Hi, I'm Wendy Bellino, and I'm a design team member for the brand new design team at Taylor Made Cards for You. Monica Taylor is the owner, and she has some awesome vintage and retro digital images and kits in her Etsy shop. My project today features images from the Santa Passport Kit. The kit was designed for Monica's signature passport card design, but I wanted to show how versatile the images are, because you can print, trim, and use these images on greeting cards, tags, ATCs, scrapbook pages, junk journals, wherever your creativity takes you. So this is where mine took me. I've made a little mini booklet card using elements from the passport kit. So let me show you how I put it together. Okay, so we're gonna need um, all of the digital elements, which I've already trimmed. We're gonna need an eight and a half by, ele uh, eight and a half by 11 inch piece of coordinating cardstock for the inside pages of the book. And this is gonna be a little mat for the focal image that I'm gonna use on the cover. So we're gonna start with uh, making some, doing a little scoring on the eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. So I'm gonna use my score pal for that. And we're gonna score the paper in half vertically and horizontally first. So I'm gonna make my first score line four and a quarter vertically. I'm gonna turn my page horizontally 11 inches, so I'm going to do it at five and a half right down the middle. Now I'm going to make this easy on myself. The pages are going to be two and three quarter inch wide and four and a quarter inch uh, long. So I'm going to do my a score line here, which is right in the center of from here to here is right in the center. I'm going to just flip my page around and do it again, two and three quarter. Now, I've got all my score lines. I'm going to need to make a cut right down the center so that my pages fold like they're supposed to. And I'm going to use my old Fiskars trimmer for that because I really have a hard time using a craft knife, but you can use a craft knife if you like that. So I'm going to make my cut from here to here. So I'm going to line up my blade, make sure I'm on my score line, and make my cut. So there's my cut right in the center. Now I'm going to fold on all of these score lines so that the pages are going to be easier to fold into a book. So I'm just going to accordion fold everything. Make sure my score lines are super crisp. And then be sure to fold this direction. And I'm going to go back this way also. Now, this middle section, I want it to pop open like this. So let me fold this way too. Okay, so I want this to pop open like this. And then I'm just going to fold all the pages into my book. And make sure they're really crisp and the creases are really crisp so that it folds right. Okay, now this last fold, I'm going to make sure that it's right on that line. Okay. 
Okay, now my next step, um, I'm gonna make some pockets. So you'll look on my finished project. I have a little pocket here on the top. And then I've got one here on the side. So I can put tags, um, little journaling blocks. Um, here I've used some little envelopes that I had from um, in my stash from a past club scrap kit. And there's also a pocket in the top here. And it was perfect size for this little mini postcard. Okay, so to make my pockets, I just used some colored staples. Um, I colored them with a little bit of uh, red pepper alcohol ink. So, I won't see, I want this pocket to be on the top, this one on the side, so I'm just going to staple everything at the bottom here. And I'm not being perfect about this. If it's not perfectly straight, that's okay with me. It's art. And this pocket's on the side. Now, you can also glue all the pages together if you want to, but I like having the pockets in case I want to stick something in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one too. We're all finished. Now, on my finished booklet, um, I rounded the corners, so let me go ahead and do that. Well, let me tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is my cover. Now, this background piece was the perfect size for the cover. So I just trimmed it just a little bit to um, four and three quarter by six and a quarter. And I'm gonna do a little bit of scoring so that it has a, a, a back on it like this. So let's see, let me get my scoreboard again. And I want the, I'm going to score on the printed side so that my, my crease is going to fold in. So let's see, my first score line is going to be at three and three and a quarter. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just going to fold on those score lines. for my book. I'm going to nest right inside there. Okay, so I'm going to round the corners and do some inking. I'm going to use my, the small end of my crocodile corner chomper. And I'm going to do my book cover also. And I'm going to do a little bit of inking before I glue the inside pages in. I'm just using a little club scrap earth ink for a distressed look on the edges. Also really good for covering up mistakes. So... I just like the way it looks. It looks finished. And I'm going to put a little bit of ink on these creases here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to glue the inside pages in. All right, make sure I'm oriented right. Now I'm going to put some glue on the back cover first. There's some uh, all right now I'm gonna center it between the score line and the edge of the paper. Make sure I'm centered right in the middle there. Actually I'm gonna butt the 
the, the inside crease up to that first score line. All right, I'm gonna put some more tape runner on here. And I'm gonna line my covers up and press it down. And my little book is made. And now I'm gonna decorate the cover. I'm gonna go ahead and corner chomp these two. Get a little better. Okay, now I've cut this um, mat to two and a half by four, and it was a perfect fit for that little this little element. And that's gonna fit right on the cover here. So let me go ahead and chomp those edges too. And then I'll ink them up and glue it together. And this project really probably took me maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes to put together. I mean, the images are already colored. Um, once I kind of had my design in mind, what I was going to do, it just, just came together really quickly. So it was a great little fun project. And everybody likes tiny things. I don't know what it is about little things. Everybody wants to touch them, play with them, look at them, see what's inside. Okay. Let me glue this on the cover. And there's my little book and I just have to decorate the inside pages. So let me give you another peek at the finished project. Have the matted cover, inked edges, um, distressed, I distressed this a little bit with, uh, my, um, paper distressor, uh, and inked the edges. I tore it a little, um, corner chomped opposite edges here. I mean, you can add more bling in there if you want to, but it was already pretty full. I, I didn't want to add too much in there. These are great little journaling pages. Um, had this little clip. I thought it was perfect and it holds in my little envelopes, um, little tag there with the notes and a little mini postcard. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more design team projects with you. There will be two new passport kits released in January, so be sure to check out the link to the tailor-made cards for you Etsy shop. I've added a link to the shop and the supplies list used in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!